Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Welcome to you to my series Learn Radiology with Dr. Anil Joshi. This series has got multiple lectures not only for radiologists but also for the medical practitioners and also radiology students and medical imaging technology aspiring boys there are different aspect of radiology different lectures cover all of them some are with the extensive topics sometime they are with the spotters sometime interesting cases some are meant to prepare for the exam going students so do visit our website which has got it in extensive and there are multiple topics on multiple uh, modalities now today's topic is a radiation physics we have made two type of lectures on it one is a extensive lecture and second is simplified now simplified lecture is here and the extensive lecture you will find it on the website now let's get going with the pregnancy and radiation to start with is a disclosure almost all the material which we are use here is our own and we use it for our departmental teaching purposes however if certain images or certain illustrations are taken from the web they are seen that they are royalty free we thank all of them for giving us this educational material with this brief introduction let's go in, let's get going to the topic that is a pregnancy and radiation the pregnancy and radiation is a protection from radiation that means the radiation fields are already identified there are already there are signals which indicate that these are the radiation zones and whether the pregnant woman should go there or not or second is the workers working there should work in that field or not is a topic of today's lecture so let us divide this protection from radiation into two that is for the patients and for the pregnant radiation workers now what is the basic principle the general risk to the fetus of chromosomal abnormalities and subsequent mental retardation is between 8 to 15 weeks now why 8 to 15 weeks because the maximum cell division is going at that stage so 8 to 15 weeks is extremely crucial from organ formation point of view cell division point of view and also it has got maximum risk of radiation so one has to be very very careful in this period in between 8 to 15 weeks of pregnancy and examination involving radiation to the fetus should be avoided during this period as far as possible of course medical emergencies we are not considering so this is always we have to consider what is more important whether patient's life and death or the fetal radiation and accordingly a decision is to be taken but one has to understand the risk is more for the fetus in between 8 to 15 weeks therefore examination which may involve heavy dose of radiation such as barium enema pelvic or abdominal cts should be carried out during the first 10 days of menstrual cycle because the chances of pregnancy are not there in these states this is all to avoid the fetus or it is to avoid the developing fetus from the radiation best we do is we do the radiological examination in first 10 days of the menstrual cycle uh, if there is any doubt the radiological procedure is postponed and unless we are really convinced that there is no pregnancy this test should not be undertaken at present days there are lot of alternatives available like ultrasound from which you can get really good information even mri if required is safe for the fetus but that also should be avoided in first 15 weeks but it is considered to be safer later on for the fetus now what is the thumbnail rule for dose dose and procedures x-ray procedure to be done in first 10 days of menstrual cycle second if there is a possibility of pregnancy radiologist should decide whether to delay until the delivery to use a other radiological technique which do not uh, use radiation and to go ahead with the x-ray but keep the dose minimal which is not practical in small units since there are no facilities to measure the radiation in other word uh, what they say is a safer for fetus needs to be measured and most of the center which are small doesn't have it in that condition best is to find out a alternative for that now what's about pregnancy and mammography lot of breast complaints are there in pregnancy but it should be kept in mind that for pregnant staff the staff who is carrying a risk of assessment must be performed then the dose to the fetus should be less than 1 msv now where there is no facility to measure it or where the machines are not properly calibrated best is the staff should not enter a mammography room or they should avoid doing mammographies now what is about pregnancy and radiation workers the maximum risk that is we are talking of the routine radiology department x-ray department where x-rays are done 
maximum risk at first three months. Subsequently, it goes to less but not zero. Now uh, it is important. It can reduce. It can get less, but it can never become zero during entire pregnancy. Duration maximum radiation allowed for fetus is less than one msv. Now lead apron is meant for protection from secondary radiation and not from primary radiation. Always it is misunderstanding. Some time it is felt that if apron is worn, there will not be any radiation to the fetus. It is true provided the radiation is secondary. But if it is primary radiation, then apron has got limited protection. So what best we can say, radiological examination should be avoided in first three months. It should be done in first ten days of menstrual cycle. Radiation worker, if there is no facility to monitor the dose, should avoid radiology. A mammography should not be done with the pregnant woman even after wearing a gown. And radiation uh, uh, technicians like. those who are caring should not perform mammographies with this we thank you for giving us your valuable time please do visit our website for comprehensive and detailed lectures over this topic and many more our youtube channel has also got many lectures do visit it if you like give us a appreciation by subscribing or like thank you